So we've already had a bit of a look at the frog stand and if you're feeling nice and confident in your frog stand then here's a couple of things that you can try just to add a little bit of um, variety into it and challenge your balance a little bit more. So Tim's going to get himself into our frog stand that we've already talked about. So he's feeling nice and confident here, his hips are nice and high over his shoulders, his elbows stacked on top of his wrists, he's feeling nice and stable. So what I'm going to ask him to do is just try and create a little bit of instability by rocking forwards and backwards and using this claw in, using the heels of his hands and his fingertips just to try and maintain his balance. So you can do that backwards and forwards, you can do it from side to side. So just trying to almost knock yourself over really and try and correct yourself with the fingertips and the heels of the hands. So that's one option. Another option that we can use if you've got some parallel, so if you want to add a little bit of variety into your training, um, this gives us a bit, another option for the wrists. So wrists are a little bit more neutral and when we get into a frog stand on the parallel, so what Tim's going to have to do is to maintain his position using the wrists rather than the fingertips and the heels of the hands. So again he can make himself unstable, he can try and correct that instability, um, and just have a little bit of a play around really. So it's something that you can build into your programme once you've started to feel nice and stable in that basic frog stand.